Hello everyone. Um, I, I'm hoping this is all <laughs> kind of working okay. Uh, sorry that I'm a little bit late starting. Uh, my name's Emily Clark. I'm one of the physios with the Bath and Mass Group. And usually around this time, at 10 o'clock, I would run a stretch session with the Bath Group. Um, so as part of the summer stretch campaign for NAS, I thought I would share it with the wider NAS community and we can all have a bit of a go. Um, a bit of a technical issue with my various devices, so I'm doing this on my phone. Hopefully it's all working okay, we'll see, fingers crossed. Um, so, we should need any equipment. Really, um, as you can see, I'm in my kind of kitchen, dining room. Uh, I do, you do need a little bit of space around you because we're going to move it, be moving arms and legs around. Uh, and a chair would be helpful. We're going to end with some seated stretches. So yeah, chair, ideally without arms, but it really doesn't matter if there are arms on your chair, it's fine. Um, and I would say that if you're a little bit worried about your balance, have something pretty solid to hold on to. So a work surface, a wall, a sturdy table. So if you need to just you know, hold on to something to continue the exercises, then you can. Um, I don't know probably a lot of you, and these should really be pitched at mid-level um, ability. So I think if you go to a normal NAS branch and you um, participate in the exercises with your, with your physio there, these should be fine for you, but you, know, you never know. So go at your own ability. Go with what you're happy with and you know you can always just uh, watch this session back and and then do it in your own time when you're confident you can do them okay i'll stop chatting <laughs> okay so first of all find a space i'll have to readjust a bit throughout the session but we'll just get going so um start marching on the spot hopefully it's not too dark in here um so first of all really relax your shoulders and just let, let your weight drop, you know, you want to feel a nice connection with the floor, feel the floor beneath your feet. I, I'm in my socks because if I wear my shoes, it's really loud and clumpy on my floor. So, but I would make, I don't recommend doing it in your socks. Uh, hopefully I won't slip over. Okay, so now start getting those arms involved. So just swinging those shoulders, try and get that nice rotation through your spine, just warming up the little joints in your spine. And then floppy arms, <laughs> swinging those shoulders, but really get that nice force down through your heels into the floor. Okay, now start rolling your shoulders, so up to your ears, back and down, but keep those feet moving. So, a bit of a coordination challenge, and I'll try and weave that in through the session. Okay, for me, more than anybody. <laughs> okay, and then still keep those feet moving. And then we're just going to start reaching up. So as if you're climbing up a rope ladder. So start reaching up through those uh, ribs. Reach with those arms high as you can go, but keep your feet moving. <laughs> Good. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Just warming up those shoulders all the way up through your spine. Good. Keep those feet moving. One more each side. Oh, that's two instead. Never mind. <laughs> Swing so those arms, good stuff. Okay, then working um, or getting those hips warmed up and moving. So heel dips. Uh, let's, I'm going to tilt you down a little bit so you can see my feet and the lack of skirting boards in my house. Never mind. So dip your heel, so you bend that supporting leg and just tap your heel on the floor. There we go. Keeping those shoulders relaxed, shoulders low. Tapping side to side. Try to keep that weight back so you're not leaning forwards as tempting as that is. Good. Then go a little bit lower and try to stay low. With a, imagine you've got a really low ceiling, so just challenging those knees a little bit more. Work on those glutes. Good. And then just add in a little bit of rotation through your spine. Good. Opposite arm to leg. Lovely. Right, then we're going to go side steps. So tapping to the side. One, Side then the other, keeping that bend your knee, keeping that low posture. So imagine again that there's a low ceiling. You know, so you can hold on to something and do this if you want to, or just steady yourself on the wall. Just taking those hips to the side and work in the range of movement that you're happy with. Okay, we're just warming up. 
So hopefully you're feeling your lungs working a little bit, feeling a little bit warm, <laughs> the blood's flowing. Okay, we're going to tap behind now, so side on, so it looks like this, so straighten that back leg and then bring it back to, to, to join the other one. Okay, let's get face on, so tap behind, oops, I need to come forwards. Okay, and again, stay low, weight back, so working on that posture through your spine, but just working for those hips. Good, okay. Again, hold on to something for balance if you need to. If you don't need to, and you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can take those arms forwards. Okay, to counterbalance, keep those shoulders away from your ears. And then we're gonna extend opposite arm to leg. It's probably better side on this. Okay, so stretch that left leg back, reach back with that right arm. So you're just extending opposite arm to leg. Good, and again, Work within the range of movement that you're happy with. Shoulders away from your ears. And this is a progression, so you can just stay doing the legs if you want to. Okay, two more each side. One, two, and one, and two, and back up. And just start marching again. Okay, I'm still feeling a bit out of breath now. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. I have been doing these three times a week. I should be fitter now. I think I am. Okay, so again, rolling those shoulders up, back and down, easing off any muscle tension that creeps in. Good stuff. Okay, so working a little bit on rotation through your spine, get a nice wide base of support now, so steady yourself, feet wide. And then you can imagine you're pulling back a bow and arrow or pulling in a rope, something like that. Important to think hips stay fixed where they are and try and just take those shoulders um, rotating backwards. Really difficult. I think I'm actually cheating a little bit here. So really focus on just moving up through that spine, just moving that upper body. And then actually, if you try and focus forwards while you do this, get a neck rotation as well. But I, I can, oh, I'm cheating a little bit. So just really try to keep your pelvis forwards, you can imagine you've got headlights on your, on your hip bones and they're shining straight ahead. Try and keep those headlights shining straight ahead. Let's do twist and rotate and pull back that bow. Once more this side and the other. And back and shake down. And just shake those legs and arms. Shake down the muscle spasm that might be creeping into your shoulders and neck. Try and keep that neck light and just shake down whenever you need to. Okay, so we're just going to do some mini squats. Squats are really good to uh, cue in your glutes and just really work on that, that kind of extension as you come up. Hold on to something if you need to. I'm going to go freestanding, and, but I'm just going to start with little mini squats. Okay, and looking at tap technique, you just want to go um, as if you're going to sit down on a chair, but someone whips the chair around away, so you want to Come straight back up, but push down through your heels as you come back up. And if you look down at your feet, just make sure those knees aren't coming over your toes. It's all about sticking that bottom out. Tuck your tummy in to help. Okay, go a little bit lower if you can, and then take your hands forwards to counterbalance as well. And really think of pushing through those feet as you come back up. Making sure you end with those knees as straight as you can. Good, let's go for another five, down a bit lower if you can, four, a little bit lower, we're going to slow it down, three, nice and low, hold it there, two, last one, hold it there, and then reaching one arm, and back, other arm, so five, four, hold it there, three, Two and one, push with these heels coming back up. Well done, check it out. Hopefully you're feeling those legs now. <laughs> okay, good, working a little bit more on these hips. So, um, yeah, you can see my feet just about. Feet about hip width apart, slide over a little bit. 
And again, this is all about honing down to your hips and your, the muscles surrounding your pelvis, trying to strengthen them up and work on the range of movement. So upper body is really relaxed throughout, just focusing on this bit. Okay, so we're going to slide that left leg out to the side and then bend the supporting leg if you need to for balance and hold on if you need to. You're going to scoop back with that leg and bring it back in to centre. Go slide out to the side, scoop behind and back in. A bit like a D shape, semicircle. Go try and keep that weight central, slide out, scoop behind and back in, scoop, slide, scoop, back in, slide, scoop, back in. Feeling these muscles working hopefully. Good, three more. Slide, scoop, back in, slide, scoop, back in, slide, scoop, back in, lift up through those knees, and then when you're ready, same again the other side, slide, scoop, I find it more difficult this side, back in, slide, scoop, and in, slide, scoop, back in, and again, keep going, trying to keep that weight central, which is a tricky bit, because you want to lean over to the side. Three more, slide, scoop, back in, slide, scoop, back in, last one, good, the last little bit of range of movement, up you come, well done, shake those legs, and roll those shoulders, good, now just drawing little circles with your elbows, again, keep those feet moving, and then wider circles, if you like, warming up your shoulders a bit more, Make sure you're breathing nice and evenly throughout. It's very easy to, without realising it, hold your breath while you're stretching. And that's really not very good for you. So just make sure you're, you're just getting that nice even in breath and out breath, okay? And I'll try and guide you a bit throughout. Um, okay, let's do some upper limb stuff. So if you float your hands out up in front of you about shoulder height, feet hip width apart to get a nice solid base of support. I'm going to come forwards, I haven't got enough space. And then I want you to reach up to the ceiling, then back behind you, and then scoop back to centre. It's kind of like doing backstroke. Reach up, go back behind you, scoop back in. <laughs> oh God, my door gets in the way. Reach up all the way back behind you as if you're stroking the ceiling. That sounds a bit silly, doesn't it? But reaching all the way up, following a line and tracing it all the way along the ceiling behind you, and then scooping back in. Good, reaching up all the way back behind you and back in. So I am cheating a little bit. I want to keep my hips facing forwards. Again, those headlights shining straight ahead as you just focus on your upper body and shoulders. It is tough on those shoulders. So just, if you're finding this too tricky, you can just do smaller circles working in the range that you have. Once more each side, trace that line up across the ceiling behind you. Back to centre, last on this side, stroking the ceiling, <laughs> and back in. Well done. Right, now we're going to go down, so as if you're stroking the floor. So nice and light through those arms. So just tracing a line along your floor. It does help, I can trace my floorboards. And then back to the centre. So working on rotation through your spine and upper body in kind of lots of different combined movements, which tends to be how our body works. Okay. <laughs> Twice more each side. Okay. One. Back to centre. Two. And one. Nice flowing, continuous movements. Now we can. And two. And back. Back down. Okay. Shake it out. Well done. So these are designed to get to bits of your spine that don't really want to be got to. So, you know, if it's too much in one go, just you know, pick bits that you're happy with and come back or work up to the other bits. That's fine. Okay, going with legs a little bit more. Take a rest if you need to, grab a glass of water, you know, go at your own pace. Okay, so next one. I'm just going to take up a little level. I want you to go into step standing. So one foot in front of the other, Probably better side on if you see it this way. Yep, so back leg straight. We're going to work on stretching through those legs. Okay, so both sets of toes facing forward, so as if your feet are on tram lines. 
this way. So just look down at your feet, see what's going on. Hold on to chair or have a chair handy or the wall or the table because this will require balance. Then you're going to come up onto your toes, your back toes, and then push that heel back to the floor. Up, push it down to the floor. So warming up that calf, that, that back calf muscle, and then trying to get it to lengthen as it's working. So lift up on those toes, push that heel down to the floor. Onto those toes, heel to floor, keeping your back knee straight. Okay, good. Now push that heel down and just hold it in a more static stretch. So push that back heel into the floor. Feel the stretch on your calf, on that back leg. Keep that weight back a little bit because it's, te it's tempting to lean. So just think of working into extension through that back as well. You should feel it in your calf at the moment. You might feel it down the front of your thigh as well. Okay, now for some of you, we're going to work a bit on your hip flexors. So I want you to push through that um, back hip so you feel the stretch down the front of your thigh a bit more. And for some of you, that will certainly be enough of a stretch. If that's easy peasy and you want to take it up a level, drop that back knee down to the floor. Okay, that ramps it up and does require a bit more balance. So, tucking the tailbone under, headlights facing forwards. Uh, so, Hips facing forwards, drop that back knee so you're really feeling it in the front of your thigh now. If I go front on, you can see it. This is what it looks like. Good, so you're on your toes and the back leg, dropping that knee down to the floor. You can go as low as you're happy with. Just make sure the knee on your front leg isn't going over your toes, okay? Right, that's still easy peasy. Reach up to the ceiling and go over to the side of the room, reaching up and over to the corner of the room Really try to stretch all the way through the side, hip flexors, quads, ribs, arm, tick, tick, tick. Deep breath in now. Expand those ribs, breathe out, circle that arm down, lift up through that back leg, push your heel down to the floor again and end on a calf, um, a calf stretch, yeah. Good. Again, breathe evenly and hold for another five, four, three, Two, one. Good, right, bring that leg in. We're gonna swap over, other side. Hold on to something if you need to. I think it, it works a bit better side on, yeah. Same thing, lift and lower through that back foot, up onto your toes, push your heel to the floor, keep that back knee straight, yeah. Nice dynamic stretch for that muscle. Warming that calf up. Before we're really going to stretch it. Okay, then up into those toes and then really push that heel to the floor, lunging in, feeling the stretch down that back leg. Just make sure both sets of toes are facing forwards and keep that weight back as well. Okay, good. Hold for a little bit longer for five, four, three, two, one. Now, to work on hip flexors, you can either just focus on the same position but pushing those hips forwards a bit more, that will give you a hip flexor stretch, or if you want to ramp it up, you can drop that back knee to the floor, readjust a bit so that front knee isn't going over your toes, and then just lunging that knee down to the floor, and you will really feel it down through that quads. Now, again, that's easy peasy, side on, and face on. That's easy peasy, reaching up and over to the corner of the room, just winding up into a further stretch, feeling all the way down through the side and a nice deep breath into these ribs now. Breathe out, lower into the stretch, reaching up and over to the corner of the room. Good, I can feel my legs trembling. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that'll do for me. And then push that back heel to the floor, end on another calf stretch. Everyone gets very tight calves and certainly if you have plantar fasciitis or any foot problems, often calf stretches are your first port of call to help improve the problems with those feet. Okay, heel to the floor, back knee straight, hold it for another five, four, three, two, one. Good, slide that back leg in, shake out those legs. Whew. His knees have worked hard. <laughs> Good, how well his shoulders? 
Okay, just uh, last one is standing. I don't want to throw too much at you first, <laughs> first thing in the morning. But if you just interlace your fingers, feet wide, I'm running out of space, but reach up to the ceiling. Breath in deep to those ribs. Breathe out, circle those arms back down. And we'll just do three of these. So interlace your fingers, reach those palms up to the sky. Slow, deep breath into your ribs. Press those ribs out as you breathe in. Breathe out, circle those arms down. Last one. Insert your fingers, palms up to the sky. Slow, deep breath. Try and feel those ribs move as you breathe in. Breathe out, arms down. Good. Okay. So, we're going to do some seated stretches now. So, if you have a chair handy, Brilliant, perfect. If you don't, don't worry. Don't want you to spend half an hour going off to find a chair. Just, um, you can do these in standing. That's absolutely fine. We just need to pay attention to trying to isolate the right bits of your, um, your neck and your trunk muscles. But I'll talk you through that. So I think some of you have probably followed the video that I prepared about this. So very similar. Um, and I always finish on these neck and trunk stretches. They're just our kind of bread and butter stretches that we've taught for many years and um, they're really good for just isolating the, the, the bits of your neck and your, your spine that can sometimes get neglected or you just aren't quite aware uh, are becoming restricted as time go, goes on. So it's a nice sort of check-in to see what your range of movement is like. So I often suggest doing this in a similar position every day so you can just get that awareness of, oh, yesterday I could I could see that picture on the wall and now I'm finding it much more difficult. Um, or maybe a month ago I could see the window from here and now I can't. So if you can do it from the same position, sorry, from the same chair every day or, whether, or regularly, then it's a nice check-in to see what your range of movement is like in your neck because it can be very insidious that kind of loss of range of movement in your, your neck particularly. I did know a physio who suggested doing it on the toilet every day because that is a fixed seat that you go to hopefully at least once a day. But yeah, I'll leave you, I'll leave that up to you. Sorry, I stopped chatting. Okay, so left arm around the back of the chair just to keep that left shoulder where it is. And then if you take that right ear down to your right shoulder, keeping that left shoulder still, we're working on side flexion through the side, um, through your neck. Now, if you feel dizzy or unwell or anything throughout these stretches you need to stop straight away because you know our neck is a delicate thing okay so just holding it in that position try and relax into that position then take a deep breath in breathe out and lower that ear a little bit lower to your shoulder good hold it for five four three two one hold it there another deep breath in Breathe out, take that ear a little bit lower for five, four, three, two, one. And again, slow, deep breath in through your nose, all the way to the base of your lungs. Breathe out, lower that ear towards your shoulder and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come back to the centre. Good, okay, so keep that shoulder where it is still. Leading with your chin, keep your nose and chin in line. Chin round to the right hand side as far as you can go, but make sure that left shoulder stays back. Good, and again, if you feel unwell or dizzy, you still need to stop these exercises. Hold it there, deep breath in. Breathe out, try and take that chin round a little bit further. And again, deep breath in. Breathe out, working further into rotation. And again, slow deep breath in. And out, go a little bit further round and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go slowly turning back to the centre. Unhook the arm. And then we're going to work on head and neck posture, head retraction, as we call it. So, um, what we want to do is isolate um, your neck, so keeping that chest where it is, and imagine you have a magnet on the, on the base of your skull. So that magnet, if 
back of your head is drawing towards a magnet that's on the wall behind you. So you're just drawing that head back as far as you can go, but just make sure you're not looking down towards the floor or you're not looking up towards the ceiling, just looking straight ahead. So it's a bit of a tricky one, a bit of a fiddly one. So, so gliding that head back and then you're just holding it there for five, four, three, two, one. Inch back a little bit more, breath in, breath out, inch it back and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Keep holding that position. Again, another slow deep breath in. Breathe out, glide that head back and hold for an extra 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and ease off. Okay, let's do the other side. So right arm around the back of the chair, keep that right shoulder down and then left ear down to the left shoulder. Far as you can go. Okay, so you're feeling the stretch on the right side of your neck. Good, then take a breath in and as you breathe out, inch that ear down a bit lower. So as those muscles relax, you'll find you can Maybe go that little bit further into the stretch. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Breath in again. Breath out and lower for five, four, three, two, one. And again, brave breath in. Breath out and lower for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly back to the center. Okay, keeping that shoulder where it is. Okay, important you're not holding your breath in between. I know I'm counting and saying breath in and breath out. Um, it works best if you could just time the movements with your breathing actually. So as you breathe out, you go further into the stretch. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> okay, turning that chin round to the left hand side now. Right shoulder back. And make sure you're not tilting your head one way or the other. Just bringing that chin round as far as you can go into rotation. Good, hold it there. Now take a slow deep breath in, breathe out, and as you breathe out and sort of relax, you're going to go further into the stretch. Good. Again, when you're ready, oh sorry, holding for five, four, three, two, one, and breath in again. Breath out, go a bit further round for five, four, three, two, one. And another slow deep breath in. Breath out, going a bit further round into the stretch and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then slowly bring the head round to the centre. And un unhook that arm and just gently roll those shoulders to ease off your muscles. So it does take a bit of practice. Obviously, you know, I, I'm used to teaching this on the two week residential course and we sort of teach it piecemeal as we go through. So this is a bit of a, um, a whistle stops tour of neck rotation exercises. But hopefully it just gives you a structure to those uh, neck and trunk exercises. The important thing is that you make sure you go to the end of range. So it's quite easy to just think, oh yeah, there we go, that's my neck exercise is done. But it's just making sure you go to that full range and that's, that's what we want to do to maintain or improve your range of movement. Okay, so, just quickly going through the trunk exercises, the formal trunk stretches that I would normally do. Important thing here is to keep your sit bones sunk into the chair, okay? So keep your pelvis still so you can really isolate the rest of your spine. All right, so sliding down to the right hand side here, keeping that left sit bone sunk into the chair. And um, if you want to increase the stretch, you can circle that arm up and over your head. Okay, so you're getting a rib stretch here. Good, and again, deep breath in. Try and push these ribs out as you breathe in. Breath out, reach down, reach up and over with the other arm. And again, breath in. Breath out, reach down, reach up, reach over. And one more time, breathing into those ribs. And out, reaching down, up and over, and just holding that stretch for a little bit longer. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Circle that arm back down. Slowly stack back up through your spine, up into a central position. 
Now we're going to go to rotation. So you take those knees around to the right hand side. This is where it helps if you don't have chairs on your arm, chairs on your arms on your chair. <laughs> if you do have arms on your chair, just work into rotation like this. I just quite like it this way because it blocks your knees and you can isolate your spine a little bit more. So twisting up through your spine, trying to bring those ribs around, your shoulders and then head to neck. Keep those knees together. And then a gentle breath in in this position. And just timing it again with your out breath, just going a bit further around into the stretch as you breathe out. Again, again, just gentle breathing. Breathing out and getting a little bit further into rotation. And one more. Gentle breath in and out. Getting a little bit further around and holding for an extra 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So then coming back round to the centre. All well done. <laughs> so when you're in full rotation, I, I don't go for a full deep breath in because that can be quite aggravating for your, your ribs and your thoracic spine. So just gentle tidal breathing. And as you breathe out, twisting that bit further around. Okay, let's go for flexion. So this one, again, sit bones where they are, scoop into your tummy muscles. Uh, and then I work it like this, put my hands on your thighs and then trace your legs down towards the floor. So as low as you can go, really, keeping that bottom in the chair. So sliding those hands down, your legs down towards your ankles, if you can get that low, great. And um, then when you're in that position, Take a deep breath into the back of your ribs. And then breathing out, just trying to lower a bit further. So you're focusing on your lower back in this position. Try not to slump through your upper back too much. So shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Keeping that bottom of the chair. And again, deep breath in. Breathe out, going a little bit lower. And holding for an extra 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Then nice and slowly coming back up because you can certainly feel a bit dizzy if you ping up too quickly. Okay, lovely. In your own time, we'll do the other side. So sliding down to the left hand side, and if you want to increase the stretch, reaching up and over with that other arm. Keep this sit bone, the right sit bone, sunk into the chair as you're reaching down to the left. Okay, so this one's really nice position to take a deep breath in. Not nice, but effective. So push these ribs out as you breathe in. Breathe out, reach down and up and over a bit more. And again, breath in. Breathe, breathe out, reaching down and up and over a little bit more. One more deep breath in. Breathe out, reach down, up and over, and hold for an extra 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step that arm down, stack up through your spine, back up into the sitting. Good. Now I'm aware that I can't see any of the messages and comments coming up, hopefully they're all right, um, but I can go back at the end and, and kind of answer any questions, um, or there are other people on hand who can answer some questions too, but yeah, difficult to to answer comments while I'm exercising at the same time, so apologies for that. Right, if you bring those knees around to the left-hand side, or just twisting round to the left-hand side, up through your spine, bring those ribs around, those shoulders, then head to neck, and gentle breathing in this position now, and timing with your out-breath, going further around into the stretch, so bringing those shoulders around that little bit more. Good, breath in, and out, going a bit further around, and again, gentle breath in and out, a bit further, and those shoulders around. And last one, deep breath in, sorry, slow breath in, breath out a little bit further around, and just holding for that extra 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly back, round to the centre. You can actually go slowly when you're coming out of the position, because sometimes that's where you feel it even more. Last one. Let's go to extension. So I'm going to go side on so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, bottom at the back of the chair, working through your rib cage here. So reaching up to the ceiling, back behind your head, with, you're not pushing it forwards, so you're trying to push that head back into your hands as you push your chest up towards the ceiling. 
Okay, if that's just really uncomfortable and just not right for you, you can just reach down behind the back of the chair, that's fine. But just make sure your, your neck isn't too uncomfortable in that position. If your hands are behind your head, you need to really keep your head heavy in your hands and support your head. Okay, the movement should come from your chest going up to the ceiling. Good, then deep breath in. Push those ribs out at the front. Expand your rib cage. Breathe out, chest up a little bit higher. Keep that head heavy in your hands. Again, slow deep breath in. Push those ribs out as you breathe in. Breathe out, chest up. Head heavy. Last one, deep breath into those ribs. Breathe out, chest up. And holding for an extra 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely, come back. So draw those toy muscles in as you come back to the centre. Um, so, well done, everybody. That has ticked a lot of boxes. We've done on our legs. Um, We've done uh, neck trunks, we've done lots of arms as well, a little bit of balance as well involved. So hopefully that's just giving you a good stretch to tick your um, summer stretch box. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll look back over some of the comments and just address any questions that you've got. So good luck with the rest of the campaign and um, yeah, keep stretching. <laughs> bye bye.